Oh no, something happened to my ficus tree. Hello, my name is Jeff, and I am a grower of rare and exotic plants here in Modesto, California. Most of what I grow is tropical. This tree here, just blown down in, in one of our winter storms, a rare winter storm here in California, is called the ficus dameropsis. It is a tree uh, native to Papua New Guinea, and it actually, I believe it actually is edible, has edible fruit, as you can see. Here's a fruit right here. However, it's not edible here in California because we don't have the symbiotic wasp required to, to pollinate or fertilize this, uh, assist in the fertilization of this fruit tree. Uh, it's my understanding that it's distantly related to uh, the figs the edible figs you find in the market uh, and some people grow. Uh, this tree was blown down in our storm. As you can see, I'm gonna have to prune this back or I could prop it up, but I think I'm gonna just prune it back. I have several of these trees. They're um, somewhat tender to cold, surviving 32 degrees, but they are amazing in their growth rate, uh, growing probably 10 feet a year. Um, as you can see, the natives in, uh, there's some new growth on it. The natives uh, use this for, for eating purposes. I don't know if they use it like a taco, taco shell. But here we are in the middle of December and this thing is still growing, putting out new growth. Uh, I'm gonna be cutting this one back to, uh, and then it'll grow very fast in the spring whenever our, weather, our temperatures warm up. But yes, this, uh, Tree gets probably about, in my yard, probably about 20, 30 feet. I prune it back regularly because it grows so fast. Now, the difficulty with these, these trees is not in the growth, but in the propagation. Because, as I mentioned, the, uh, the, the tree doesn't, when they brought these trees over from Papua New Guinea, they didn't bring the symbiotic wasp required to, f to help pollination. So, uh... The, the 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 fruit is just inedible. Uh, the other thing is, in order to propagate it, you have to air layer it, and it's pretty difficult with the much harder than almost any other uh, any other plant that uh, uh, most people grow, in that the the trunks of the tree are um, hollow. And so when you cut them, number one, they they sap drips out of them very a lot and the the trunks are hollow kind of a quirkiness and it's hard for you to get a good air layer or a cutting out of it i've never seen it cut uh, cutting actually root uh i i can um i can uh, cut uh put i can uh, i can propagate them through air layering but again that's very difficult uh, Anybody want to give one of these a try? You probably have to buy them already rooted and growing. They're beautiful pl plants and they, uh, they don't take a lot of cold, but they do grow very fast. There's, oh, we got a hummingbird in the garden. Again, my name is Jeff. Uh, check back frequently as I will be upgrading my videos. I will have some new videos. I grow all kinds of, uh, tropical plants in my zone 9 garden it often gets in the winter time we get freezing temperatures but somehow I managed to make these things uh, grow and I think you can too uh, you have a nice day